In the week working, Charles III held the work of the Commonwealth in its 75th year. Representatives from the African arm of the 56 countries gathered in London for the Commonwealth Africa Summit. For New Central International Correspondent, Afwa Hagan was there. The Commonwealth Africa Summit has a mandate to promote the interests of the African bloc of the Commonwealth of Nations as well as the interests of the Commonwealth in Africa. Every year in London, the initiative brings together the world's leading government and business leaders, policymakers and experts with an aspiration to foster more opportunities for Commonwealth citizens from and within Africa. The initiative champions sustainable development, economic prosperity, security and good governance across Commonwealth countries in Africa. It works to achieve this mission by working in partnership with the Commonwealth and African governments, public and private institutions, businesses, civil society organisations, as well as other regional and international development partners. Climate change, inclusivity in culture, media and sport, and increasing women's participation in politics were high on the agenda. Artist and storyteller Peju Alatais says it's time that the Nigerian government gave much more support to the arts industry in the country. The culture has the potential to be the greatest export from Nigeria, West Africa, our music is everywhere, literature, um, fashion, uh, food, the new restaurants opening that are Afro-infused restaurants and stuff like that. So I mean we're everywhere and the culture is, we, we, we are the ambassadors of the culture and we're the ambassadors to the country. So it's about time they took us seriously because again we're the ones sort of cleaning up the image of the, con of the continent, right? It's the creative sector. Because at the end of the day, nobody knows who the politicians are. They know who the musicians are. They know who the actors are. You know, they know the people that come into their homes, either hanging on their walls or through their sound system on the TV. You know, we engage with people. We change their minds about who we are. And then we tell the truth about our circumstances, where we tell our own stories on our own terms, in our own voices. Of course, it's really important for that to be part of the agenda. If we're talking about um, contributing to the economy of the country, we should be. With delegates from all over the world traveling to London for conference and working group sessions, Natalie Bisnael, founder of Health for Peace, says effective communication across countries in Africa is the best way to make sure the Commonwealth really works for effective change. Communication. <laughs> we cannot communicate with each other enough. I, I'm realizing that a lot of people, when I say where I'm from, are like, oh, I've never met someone from Chad, which on one hand makes me sad, and on the other hand, I'm like, great, you get to meet me. <laughs> Let's talk. So it's all about, you know, you know, unity, which is, I think, almost a cliche, but just talking with each other. You know, they say you can't really, you know, tell someone's story until you walked into their shoes. Um, but for me, it's more just get to know the person behind the scenes, you know, try to talk more. As questions over the value of the Commonwealth linger, it's essential these forums continue to grow to ensure senior decision makers and citizens alike are equipped with the information to respond to challenges as well as seize opportunities to create the Commonwealth that they want. For New Central, I'm Afia Hagen.